All right, you guys, welcome to CW Fab's garage. Um, today we're gonna be trying to get the motor and everything inside here that's gonna get this thing running on its own power. And I know this has kind of been a long uh, series of videos, but we're getting to the end now. Finally, the end's in sight. I've got the deer hunt coming up in a couple weeks, and I wanna take this thing with me. So uh, let's put this stuff in and see how it turns out. All right, you guys, so uh, here's where we're at now. We've got the uh, motor mount, um, gearbox mount. It's all in there permanently installed and watertight and got some paint on it. And uh, we're gonna start putting the stuff in there. We've got the gearbox here that on the coot that gives you your, let's see. You got two forward gears, a neutral and a reverse. So we'll be putting that in. I also am gonna go away from the manual brakes because they're pretty toasty. Let me show you over here with all the little bits and pieces of this thing that's left to go in, the coot. <laughs> this was the stuff that was all laying in the back of it. So there's my brake. I'm not even gonna to try to save that. That's garbage. Um, little cleat things that go on the tires I was telling you guys about in the last video. They go up and over and hook to them little things on the on the tires. I've got the rear tires in the front. That's what those are. So uh, let's go start throwing some of this stuff in and we'll see how it turns out. Let's get this old bear of a motor thrown in there. Oh my gosh. is that's where she'll live right there I'm guessing that probably goes down to the starter and three wires here probably go to these somewhere here I'm sure we'll figure it out Okay, let me grab the bolts and we'll start tightening some things up. Looks like it's all going to work. Belt on, wires to hook up, and that, uh, two more bolts to put in this guy, and I think that's about it. Let's get the master link in the chain, and then that should be, we should be really close there. And I dropped it. Come here, you. Ok. 
Okay, chain in. What else? That's it, I think, as far as this goes. Belts on, chains on, brakes not on. We're gonna be putting some hydraulic brakes on this, this guy, so I'm gonna have to figure out some way to mount that. Um, let me show you what we got on the engine side. Okay, so exhaust-wise, finally got that stubborn piece out of there. It's right here. Some penetrating oil and a lot of heat, and I was finally able to get that to come out. So, probably gotta take this cover off here and get our exhaust in there, get the exhaust hooked up. I've gotta get that piece taken out of there too. Probably put that in the vise. Um, carburetor, let's see here. You see him down in there? Yeah, the carburetor's gotta come out through here for the uh, air filter out and then elbow up and I believe your air filter sits here and I've got a gas tank which probably slightly smaller than what's supposed to go on it but the straps fit and go around it and it's gonna go here like that I'm gonna get it painted and uh, let's see That'll be gas. That'll be the gas there. The gas will go down through. Let's see, the gas comes down through and in through this little hole into the carburetor, the exhaust out. So hopefully, hopefully we're gonna be uh, having this thing running in the next video. I'm, I'm not gonna get it running in this video. I've gotta tidy up some things and I'm waiting for a governor spring to come for this. There's a right down in here this guy right here to here there's a governor spring that I don't have that should be here by the 10th and our hydraulic brake master cylinder we've got to figure out where we're going to mount him at and the brake caliper is uh, should be here today so there's still a few little small things and then we're going to throw the drive shaft in and probably need to get a new start a new a new key switch and i think that should be about it uh, picked up some new vinyl for these seats so i'm gonna tear the seats apart and probably replace the foam and that's looking good for the seat there's our new vinyl we'll get that old seat uh cover pulled off there and get the measurements off of it and we'll get the corner sewed up and we'll do that times two because I got to get the foam for the other one, which is over there somewhere with the drive shaft. So, and we, we made a lot of progress today. And, uh, man, it's getting close. Like I said, I want to have this done for the deer hunt, which is uh, the 19th here. And I think today's the 5th or 6th or something. I'm not sure of October. Anyway. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today. We've got quite a bit tied up on this thing, and we're looking pretty good. Um, appreciate you guys watching. I know this has been a long video getting to this point and uh, there's not a lot of these coots out there. The, the guys that have the coots will probably appreciate this video. Um, for the other people that don't know much about them, probably won't care. I'm all right with that. Anyway, give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff that everybody tells you to do in every video. Go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching.